Hi guys, welcome back to the Dancer Crochets. If you're new to the channel, my name is Liz. You're welcome. Kindly subscribe and join the family. In this tutorial, we're going to make this high-low kimono that I'm sure you're going to love making. And I love the styling. I love that I can style it in several different ways. I'll be showing that on the Instagram page and on TikTok. So let's get into it. These are the materials that we're going to use. You're going to need a medium weight yarn. I'm using Winter King. This is medium weight and um, it's 100% acrylic and it's a Kenyan brand. I'll be using a four millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a measuring tape, a yarn needle, two stitch markers at least. You can have more and a pair of scissors. You can substitute this yarn for any medium weight yarn of your choice or for the yarn could be acrylic or cotton yarn. Our starting chain will represent the length of the kimono and it should be a multiple of four or a number that is divisible by four, then plus two. So I'm going to start with a chain of 80 plus two, which is 82. You begin with a slip knot, then chain the length that you want, ensure that your chain is a multiple of four plus two. So for example, 80 plus two, that's 82. Uh, you have you can have 84 plus 2 which will give you 86 and so on so that's one I have the 82 chains and I have the full length of the kimono that I want. Now you're going to measure the length and when you're measuring, you don't stretch the length. So you just measure without stretching. And for this one, this is the length at the back of the kimono because we are working the back panel first and it is at 25 without stretching, which is the length that I want. Next, we're going to start working the first row and it's going to be a single crochet row so you begin by holding the last the last chain that you've done and chain one more then insert your hook into that chain that you're holding yarn over and grab a loop so that you have two loops on your hook yarn over pull through two to complete the single crochet then you're going to place a single crochet into the next chain a single crochet into the chain that follows into the next one and into all the chains till we get to the end at the end of row one you should have the same number of single crochets as the chain that you've started with in my case i should have a total of 82 single crochets I'm in the last chain and I just placed the last single crochet there and row one is done. So to begin row two, we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then turn. The chain three will act as the first double crochet in row two. And that means we're going to yarn over. We won't work in this first stitch. We move over to the second stitch and work a double crochet. And that's going to make two double crochets. Then you're going to chain two. When you're chaining, do not chain too tight. Then yarn over, skip two stitches, one, two, work into the third one, double crochet. Work a double crochet into the next stitch so that you have two double crochets in the next two stitches. Then chain two, yarn over, skip two, one, two, double crochet next, followed by another double crochet. Chain two, then skip two stitches, double crochet next, and double crochet into the next stitch. And this is the pattern that you're going to get. Repeat that pattern to the end. At the end you should have four stitches remaining so yarn over skip two do a single crochet into the second last stitch and a single crochet into the last stitch as you can see i missed a stitch and therefore in the end i've skipped just one so if you miss just one stitch you can you can work around it so it seems like i worked 81 stitches instead of 82 and therefore at the end i've only skipped one 
or maybe I skipped more stitches somewhere else, but you can work around that. But make sure that at the end you have two double crochets. Now chain three and turn to begin row three. That's the first double crochet in the first double crochet. So yarn over, work into the next double crochet with a double crochet. Chain two, skip over to the double crochet and place a double crochet. Then a double crochet into the next double crochet. Chain two, double crochet on top of the previous double crochet and another double crochet. So this is the pattern you're getting. Repeat the pattern to the end. At the end, we place the last double crochet on top of the chain three. And that's the end of row three. Chain three and turn to begin row four. And we're going to work row four the same way we've worked row three. So we start with the double crochet. Chain two, double crochet into the next double crochet and the next. Chain two, work on the double crochets. So this is row four, which will be the same as row five. So I'll go ahead, work row four and five, and then I'll come back to show you how to do row six. So chain two, then double crochet. This is after the five rows. And so we're going to chain one now and turn. And the row that we're doing next, which is row six, is going to be a single crochet row. We're going to begin in the very first stitch with a single crochet into the second stitch, single crochet into the chain two stitch, two single crochets. On top of the double crochet, one single crochet, and then one single crochet next. We get to the chain stitch, we place two single crochets. A single crochet on the double crochet and another single crochet on the next double crochet then two single crochets on the chain two stitch then repeat to the end now this is going to take us back to row one the number of single crochets that you should you have should be the same as the number of single crochets that you had in the first row so place your single crochets to the end i started with 82 single crochets so at the end of this row, I should have 82 single crochets. At the end, the last single crochet should be on top of the chain three. Right there so that has taken us back to row one and so the next row is going to be the same as row two so we begin by chaining three and turning we work the same way we did row two at the bottom right here and we started with a double crochet into the next stitch chain two skip three and over and skip two then two double crochets another two double crochets chain two skip two then two double crochets, chain two, then two double crochets, chain two, skip two, two double crochets next, one into every chain, into every stitch. And from here, we are just repeating whatever we did. So row two, the row we are doing here is row two. So we are doing it the same as this row two, then we'll do the row three, four, and five. After the five rows, we'll then do the single crochet row. Then keep repeating till you get the width of the kimono that you want. Remember, this is the length and this is the width. So keep going till you achieve your length, uh, till you achieve your width or the shoulder to shoulder measurement. When you're measuring, do not stretch. This is what I get after repeating the pattern seven times. Like you can see, we have the first one, which ends right here. Then we have the second, 
let me show so this is the first second this is the third the fourth the fifth sixth and seventh so you have seven repeats uh the pattern you repeat it seven times that is what works for me in order to get this width and as we had mentioned before this is 18.5 let's confirm that right here it's 18.5 and that represents the length on the shoulders so the back panel is ready if you're a bit wide on the shoulders or you're a bit big or you're a size bigger than this you can do eight repeats or nine or ten i think ten will be enough for extra large or x2 xl and then now we're going to do the front panels for the front panel you're going to begin with the same number of chains and then you're going to do row one and row two. So I've already done my row one and row two, and I'm at the end of row two. Now at the end of row two, we're going to increase. So let me show you. Actually, we're going to increase at the beginning of row three. So this is how the front panel looks like. There is one side that is flat. Then we have this one that is slanting now to make that slant we need to increase so to begin row three of the front panel you begin by chaining three and then turn once you turn we don't skip the first stitch we start working in the first stitch so yarn over and place a stitch in that very first stitch then place a double crochet into the next stitch such that at the beginning of row three you have three whatever three double crochets then mark this side mark the beginning of that row so that you remember the row that you're going to be the side that you're increasing so we are increasing on this side first while this side remains flat so now we continue to the end of row three start by chaining two and then skip over to the double crochets and work a double crochet one into each of the double crochets then chain two work the double crochets and then repeat to the end this is quite simple you're just going to repeat at the end there is no increase so when you get to the end you're going to chain three then turn and work row four back to this point i'll meet you at this end of row four so and uh, at the end of row three you should have three double crochets so those are two then the last double crochet is on the chain three stitch like that so chain three and turn to begin row four then start with an increase by placing a double crochet right where we have the chain stitch then a double crochet next and a double crochet next that gives us four double crochets at the beginning of row four then we're going to chain two and we work normally to the end of row four then row five is going to be this is actually row five sorry so this is row two this is row three this is row four which has no increase then we have row five which has an increase then row six which is a single crochet row will not have an increase so i'll just work the row five to the end once i get to the end i'll chain one and turn then work the single crochet row back to this point without increasing so let me get to the end of row five then i'll show you how to do row six I'm at the end of row five so then i'm going to chain one and turn to begin row six which is the single crochet row we begin with a single crochet in the very first stitch then a single crochet next two single crochets into the chain a single crochet on the double crochet and a single crochet on the next double crochet two single crochets on the chain repeat to the end I 
at the end you're going to have four single crochets on top of the four double crochets the last one is onto the chain stitch that is row six done we begin row seven and row seven is an increase row which is this row right here so we're going to chain three and turn begin in the first stitch place a double crochet right there then chain two no actually we are not chaining two because here we have a total of five stitches if they were six we could have chained two so all the other stitches that are double crochets will get just one double crochet that's a total of one two three four five yeah five double crochets then you're going to chain two yarn over skip two then double crochet into the next two stitches chain two yarn over skip two two double crochets repeat to the end and then work the next row this is row seven so i'll work row seven to the end and then at the end i'll chain three and turn then work row eight i'll meet you at the end of row eight right here At the end of row eight you should have five double crochets so that is the first two three four and the fifth one is on the chain stitch so five that's row eight done we begin row nine by chaining three and turning row nine is an increased row so we start with a double crochet into the very first stitch then we're going to chain two yarn over skip two stitches one and two then double crochet and then double crochet in the next double crochet this is row nine then chain two then two a double crochet next and another double crochet chain one a uh, chain two skip the chains and do the double crochets then repeat to the end we're going to do row nine and then once you get to the end you're going to chain three and turn to work row 10 and row 10 does not have an increase so i'll meet you at the end of row 10. i'm done with row 10 without increasing and as you can see right now we have what you're doing is a single crochet row then four four rows of the double crochet row a single crochet another four rows so right here we've already done the four one two three and four so it's time to do the single crochet row and you're going to chain one and turn we are on the side that we're supposed to increase so this begins with an increase so a single crochet in the first stitch and another single crochet then a single crochet into the next stitch two single crochets into the chain stitch a single crochet on the double crochet and a single crochet on the next double crochet two single crochets onto the chain repeat to the end this is row 11 at the end of row 11 we are going to decrease that is we're going to combine two stitches into one so we have the two double crochets put our the hook into the second last grab a loop put the hook in the chain three stitch grab a loop yarn over pull through two that's a reduction now this will depend on for you to do this it is completely dependent on your back panel so let me show you so if this is your back panel that has mine has seven repeats of the pattern one two three four five six and seven you're going to take the seven minus three so seven minus three for me is four then you're going to take the four divided by two so the three will be in the middle and then we're going to have two on this side two on the other side then this will be the middle part let me show you so that means when you start attaching we're going to have these two overlapping with two on the other side then we're going to have the other panel and then we're going to have the other two right here the two repeat patterns overlapping with the two on the other side then in the middle we're going to have an open part that has three 
three of these patterns or the three repeats. So if you're when you're working your back panel, you want to ensure that it's an odd number. So you may do seven repeats or nine repeats. If you do nine repeats, you're going to have nine minus three, and that will give you six. Six divided by three, that will be three. And that means you'll have three on this side, three on the other side. So you will not start reducing after the second one like me. You'll start reducing after the fourth. If you've done five of these, then you're going to have five minus three, which will give you two. And that means you'll have you'll have the first pattern repeat and then you start reducing. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, then you might want to work exactly like I'm working. Then after that, you can be able to recreate into different sizes. So now at the, at the end, I've just done a reduction. Let me show you in the panel that I already worked. So this this side that I've been increasing, you know, okay, is it? Yeah, this side it should be like this. So we are on this part right there. As you can see, I want to start decreasing on this side. Then on the other side, the increase remains. You continue increasing, same way you've been increasing. So on this side, we keep increasing. On the other side, we start decreasing. So for every row of increase on one side, there'll be a decrease on the other side. So like after my two patterns, I've done an increase on this side and a decrease on this side. The next row is going to be a row that has no increase or decrease. So now we're going to chain three and turn. Now at this point, we can't work this stitch. So we need to work the next stitch, which is a chain, which should have been a chain stitch. So we're going to work um, into the next stitch, work a double crochet. Then we're going to work another double crochet. And we're going to work a fourth double crochet. A fourth double, sorry, let me confirm. So we are right here. They are supposed to be five. So that is one, I'm right here. One, two, three, four, and five. So one, two, three, four, and then a fifth one. So that you get, so the double crochets that you're working, you're working them until you get, you're aligned with the next double crochet right here. Then you're going to chain two. Skip over, skip two stitches and do double crochets. One into the next two stitches, like that. Then chain two. Skip two double crochets. Chain two. Skip two stitches and repeat to the end. I'll meet you at the end of this row. At the end, we're going to have three double crochets. Chain three, turn. This is an increased row. So we're increasing on this side and decreasing on the other side. Remember the side that is marked is the side that you're increasing, the other one decreases. So I'll just move the stitch marker up. Then begin in that first stitch by placing a double crochet into the very first stitch, then a double crochet on the next double crochet, a double crochet onto the next double crochet, chain two, skip, double crochet, and double crochet, next. Chain two, into the next double crochet, double crochet, and double crochet. Repeat to the end, uh, or work till you have two stitches remaining. So I'll work till I have this stitch and this one. So up to this point, then I'll show you how to decrease I have two stitches remaining and I'm going to put them together to get one stitch. So yarn over, put your hook into the second last stitch, grab a loop. You have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. Do not complete the double crochet. Yarn over again, go into the chain stitch and grab a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, 
then you will have the three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all the three so we've combined the last two stitches into one chain one and turn this row there is no increase there is no decrease so each stitch gets one stitch there's a double crochet here because of the chain so we skip over to the next one and do a double crochet do a double crochet next into the next double crochet then chain two work the double crochet repeat to the end At the end we're going to have four double crochets the last one is on the chain stitch i'm in row 14 now and i've just done the third row of double crochet that is one two and three we're going to do the fourth one begin by chaining three and turning this is an increased row so we begin in the first stitch with a double crochet a double crochet into the next double crochet into the next double crochet and into the next for a total of five double crochets at the beginning one two three four and five chain two then work in the double crochets repeat to the end when you come to the end we're going to do a reduction so work till you have these two double crochets remaining i'll meet you there At the end we're going to work a reduction so yarn over go into the second last stitch grab a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over go into the chain stitch grab a loop yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through all the loops so now we have three sing three double crochets chain one because we are done with the double crochet rows one two three four we're going to work a single crochet row next so chain one and turn because this is not a decrease or increase row, we start in the first stitch with a single crochet, single crochet into the next one, and into the third. Then two single crochets into the chain stitch, a single crochet on top of the double crochet, and the next double crochet, single crochet onto the chain, and repeat to the end. chain three at the end and turn to begin the next row the next row of course is an increased row and uh, right now um, on the fourth pattern one two three let's see so for this one i did one two three four five and six six that is so one two three i'm in the fourth one right here i'm at this point we begin by increasing so in the first stitch we place a double crochet then we're going to chain two yarn over skip two stitches one two double crochet next and double crochet next then chain two skip two one two double crochet and another double crochet repeat to the end and i'll meet you at the end to reduce to show you how to reduce at that end So I'm, I'm at the end and I've just done one double crochet. I have two stitches remaining. So I join them together. Chain three. After chaining three, we turn and we are not increasing or decreasing. So yarn over and work into the next double crochet so that you have only two double crochets. Chain two and repeat this to the end.
at the end we're going to chain three and turn to begin the next row i lost count of my rows but what matters is that you know how to work the rows i think this is row 16 17 18 i'm in row 19 i'm just going to move this up this reminds us that this is a side that we are increasing in so we begin with an increase in that first stitch so that you have two double crochets right there then add that double crochet chain two skip work the double crochets then you're going to repeat the pattern to the end when you come to the end you're going to do a reduction now this for this reduction we're going to work it differently so i'll meet you at a point towards the end so that i can show you how to work that part At the end, we're going to work a reduction. So chain two, then reduce the two stitches into one. The two stitches at the end. Then chain one, two, and three, then turn. After tur turning, that's our first double crochet, which we've already reduced. Now we can chain two, so we're going to do two double crochets into the chain two stitch. Then we're going to do double crochets on top of the previous double crochets. So that we have a total of five double crochets on this end. Then the pattern repeat it to the end now. At the end, you're going to have three double crochets. After we're done with this row, we'll do the single crochet row because we'll have finished the double crochet rows, one, two, three, and four. So the next one is going to be the double crochet row. It's going to start with an increase and end with a decrease. So let me work till I have the single crochet row and I'll meet you once I'm done with the fourth part or with the, yeah, this will be the fourth one. One, two, three, one, two, three. This will, I'll meet you at the end of the fourth one. So that will begin the fifth. We are doing six of them. To reduce in the single crochet row, we're going to chain one and turn. And then actually we start by increasing in the first stitch, place a single crochet, go into the same stitch and place another single crochet. Then a single crochet onto the next double crochet, a single crochet on the next, then two single crochets in the chain, a single crochet next in the double crochet, and another single crochet in the next double crochet. Then I'll meet you at the end to show you how to reduce when you're working with single crochets. Actually, I've already done that. So when you're reducing, when you're working with single crochets, at the end when you're reducing, this is what you do. You put your hook into a stitch, grab a loop put your hook into the next stitch grab a loop then yarn over and pull through all you're going to do that at the end now at this point you know the drill so i'll keep going with the other with the other rows until i have something that is of the same length with what i have right here so right now i'm in the fourth so i'll do the fifth and the sixth ensure that you're reducing, you're increasing on this side and reducing on the other side. I'll meet you once I'm done with the second front panel. So that means because this single crochet row that I'm working is a decrease and an increase and decrease row, the next one will not have an increase or a decrease. So keep going. Let's meet after the six pattern repeats. At the end, I'm going to do the, the last reduction with a single crochet. Then chain one, I've already cut off the end, so I'll just pull the end through to complete. And we are done with the second front panel. Now it's time to join the panels together. So what you do is get the back panel first. We're going to place them side by side, beginning with the, with the back panel, with the right side facing you. So make sure that the right side of the back panel is facing you or it's on top like this this is the top part then you're going to get one of the front parts and this one we are going to place them on opposite sides so this is the extended part and that one will be on the inner part of the kimono like this so you want to ensure that the side that has a stitch marker is on this side at the bottom so just like this 
so this is the bottom part with one of the front parts the part that has the stitch marker will be on this side or the the edge the extended part should be on this side if you're attaching the the top part here i hope i'm making sense and then i can just remove this stitch marker and use it to connect the top part so we are connecting from this point up to where we have the second pattern ending so on the single crochet of the second part so there's this part there's the second part so on the single crochet row we're going to mark right there then on the single crochet on the other side and that means when you're connecting these front parts we're going to connect from this point to this part this is the shoulder part of the kimono and therefore that means this part will fold like this and then the bottom part will be extended will it will like stretch downwards then we're going to get the other the other piece make sure the part that has the stitch marker is on the inner on this side on the inner side of the kimono we place it side by side like this this is the top part up to where we started decreasing I'll get this stitch marker and place it on the single crochet row at the point where we started decreasing. Then on the single crochet row of the back panel like this. And that means on this side, when we're joining, we're going to join from this side, this part to this part. So then it means our kimono will look like this. This is the shoulder part. So as you can see, this is the opening at the front. Now we join, we join from the top right here. So I'm just going to get my yarn and the hook. I'll join with single crochets. So the yarn, the hook, place it on the first row on one side and the first row on the other side. Grab your yarn, put it through the hook and pull it through the rows like this we're going to have three ends at that point then chain one after chaining one we're going to work over these three ends then we're going to go onto that same row and on it on the other side and do a single crochet that will get us to the double crochet row so on the double crochet on this side the double crochet on the, the other side place two single crochets right there so one and two we move over to the next double crochet row put your hook through the double crochet on this side and the double crochet on the other side and connect them with two single crochets we get to the next double crochet row put the hook in the double crochet row and on the other side connect them with two single crochets The next one is a double crochet row which also gets two single crochets the next one is a single crochet row so in the single crochet on this side the single crochet on the other side connect with a single crochet just one single crochet we get to the double crochet rows then we connect them with two single crochets for this row and the row on the other side Then connect till you get to the stitch marker. At the stitch marker we have the single crochet row. So I'm just going to connect the two single crochet rows on both panels. So this one and the one on the other side. Do a single crochet. Then chain one and cut off the yarn at that point. Then you're going to pull that yarn through to and then fasten. And that one of the shoulders is joined. We're going to go to the other side and join the other shoulder. So just turn my work to this side. And attach the same way, beginning with the first row. And the first row on the other side. And grab a loop of the yarn. As you connect, work over the end. So I'm just going to go connect this and then I'll be back. 
here we have the two shoulders joined so this is one side and the other side as you can see so now this is what we have next we're going to measure out the sleeve part and then after measuring it out we are going to join from the bottom coming up so on one side i'll just place my kimono like this we are measuring from the shoulder parts so on this side i'll measure eight inches you can measure between seven to eight depending on the size of your arm so here and you measure without stretching so eight inches for me gets me to around this point so i'll just mark this that point this so now i'll get the corresponding stitch on this side so that means i'll count the number of single crochets right here and then the number of single crochets on the other side then i'll connect so let me go count and do that then i'll do the same on the other side I've already joined one of the sides from the bottom to where the stitch marker is and this is the sleeve part so i'm just going to go to the other side and join it and we're doing that from the bottom get the hook and the, the yarn in the first stitch on this side and the stitch on the other side put your hook through and grab a loop of the yarn leaving an end that we're going to work over then from that point chain one Get the next stitch and the next stitch on the other side do a single crochet while working over the end a single crochet into the next stitch you're attaching the corresponding stitches one on this side and one on this panel one on the other panel ensure that they are well aligned and just join them with single crochets So we attach till we get to the stitch marker. So on the stitch just before the stitch marker do a single crochet chain one and cut off the yarn and you're done attaching that side pull through so our kimono is attached on the shoulders we've created the the sleeves so now turn it to the right side once you turn it to the right side we're going to do a simple edging on the on the shoulder part beginning from this point right here and we're just going to go all the way around the shoulder up to this point so just grab the yarn when you're doing this do this on the right side that's why you should turn your work first part i'll reattach the yarn on that single crochet row and chain one 
working over the ends now go into that stitch and do a single crochet that's a single crochet row so one single crochet there in the double crochet row place two, sing two single crochets two single crochets in the next double crochet row two single crochets in the row that follows two into the next The row that follows is a single crochet row, so that gets one single crochet. Then two single crochet next. Two next. Then repeat till you get to the corner. Or till you get to the double crochet before the corner. So where there's double crochet row, you place two single crochets. Where there's a single crochet row, you place just one single crochet. Once you get to this double crochet row, place the two single crochets, then we're going to skip this middle part and work in the double crochet, in the next double crochet row. So like we are skipping the single crochet row at the corner, then turn. The next double crochet row will get just one single crochet. Then the next one will get two. The next gets one. The single crochet gets one. The double crochet row gets two single crochet the next double crochet gets one so we alternate in between two single crochets in one row one single crochet into the next row so that is one the next one will get two the next will get one the single crochet of course gets just one so the next one will get two single crochets the next one single crochet then the next two single crochets then one single crochet the reason why we're not working two double crochets in every row is because we want to reduce the shoulder part it's too wide so we are reducing it once you get to the double crochet row we're going to skip over to the other double crochet row on the other side without working the corner stitches so two single crochet in that double crochet row when you get to this other side you're going to place two single crochets now we do not alternate anymore so two single crochets in every double crochet row and then one single crochet in the single crochet row. This is the single crochet row gets one. The double crochet will get two. The next double crochet gets two. The next gets two. Then the next will get two. We get to the single crochet row. We place one single crochet. Next we have two single crochets. And continue to the corner. At the corner we have the single crochet row so just one single crochet chain one and cut off the yarn at that corner and we are done what's remaining is to weave in the ends and then our kimono will be ready now you might need a strap to shape the the waist part of the kimono so i'm going to chain 200 i'm, I'm going to make a chain of 200 chains and i'm going to use it to shape the the waist part so that the kimono fits perfectly onto your body if you don't want that strap, you can use a belt that you're going to wear over the kimono in order to give it a good shape. So I'm getting two strands of the yarn and I'll begin with a slip knot, then chain 200. You can do 200 or 250, whatever works for you. It doesn't have to be 200, so just chain. I have my chain ready so I'm just going to cut off the yarn after the 200 chains cut it off pull through first 10 then we're going to do a knot on the ends make sure the knot is very close to the stitches then cut whatever end remains don't cut too close to the knot like that do the same on the other side Now 
now grab your kimono and i'll show you how to weave one of the ends and then you can go on with the others use the the needle right here i'll just put it through the single crochet stitches On the inside part of the kimono that is make sure that you're working in between the stitches such that it's not visible on the other side then grab these ends put them through the needle like that then just pull now my ends are hidden so i'll just cut off cut off the remaining end like that so you can go on within the other ends and then to attach the strap just go to the back part of your kimono on the right side get the strap then you're going to count five gaps four gaps below the armpit from here one two three four into this gap of the fifth wherever your your, your waist is so I'll just put the strap through the gaps just like this till I get to the other end of the back panel on that same line if you don't want this strap like I mentioned you can style your 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 kimono with a belt or you can wear it freely if it works for you you can just wear it freely so after that now you can draw this part i think my strap is too long but there's no harm in having a long strap so you're just going to be able to draw that part like that and it shapes your kimono so perfectly that you will love how it looks on you so now we can just tie a knot is it a knot or a bow you tie a bow right there so now the kimono is ready you can go on rock it over a dress it could be a skirt it could be a trouser whatever whatever you like to wear this kimono over so thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the tutorial if you've enjoyed the tutorial kindly leave a like a comment share with your friends so that they can recreate this and when you recreate this, do not forget to tag me on your social media pages and I'll be reposting your, your work. So thank you so much. See you in the next tutorial. Bye.